Well? Well what? Well, kindly step aside. Sorry. I should jolly well think so, too. I said I was sorry. Oh, my poor feet. I can't go another step. What are you doing here, anyway? I'm looking for some numbers. You don't say. They come from the clock, in the first story back there. You don't say. I've got to find all the missing numbers, put them on the clock, then Teabag will be defeated, I think. You don't say. I do say. You don't say. Are you listening to me? What? Well... I thought maybe you could help me. Don't go asking me for help. I'm completely lost. Lost? It really is the strangest thing. I'm a prince. I shouldn't even be here. By rights, a golden coach ought to have arrived and whisk me off to the princess of my dreams. So what happens? I don't know. What happens? Nothing. No golden coach, no princess, no happy ending to the story, nothing. So what are you doing here? Good question. I should never have set off by foot in the first place. I've been stung by nettles, scratched by brambles, covered in mud, and I've missed my tea. We were going to have ice cream and jelly, too. Oh, cheer up. I'm lost as well. We can be lost together. Hmm. My name's Debbie. Pimple. Hey. Prince Pimple. Oh, I'm sorry. Pleased to meet you. It really is a bad business, all of this. I know, a very bad business. But never mind, together we can find a way out of this forest. Oh, no, 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 not me. I'm not going another step further. I've got corns on my bunions and my feet are all swelling up. I'm whacked. Well, I can't stop a mist. I've got to find those missing numbers. Bye. If you happen to see any princesses on your travels, tell them that dashing, handsome Prince Pimple is well on his way. I will just as soon as his socks have dried out. T-shirt. I need a good, strong cover. Oh, this looks like a particularly wicked brew. Oh, bless. Ecstasy. You just make sure you look after that plant, T-shirt. Keep it well watered and warm. And most of all, mm -hmm. talk to it. Eh? Plants love to be talked to, so talk to it. What will I say? But I don't know anything. Just keep it happy. Hello, what's your name? Yeah, hello. Now, let's see if that vile child Deborah has taken heed of my warning. Excellent. She's not there. She must have gone back to wherever she came from. How very sensible of her. Sensible of who? Nobody you know. Mind your own business. Talk to the plant. I am. It's not listening. T-shirt. I like you, little plant. Do you like me? Nice. Yes. 
Loaf and muffins. She's still here, little Miss Itchy Nose. She's gone wandering into the second story. She must be after those infernal silver numbers after all. Curse her. Curse who? Curse you. Yes. Hello. Do you work here? Work? Oh, I do all the work around here. Oh, dear. Oh, no, no, I love it. Plumbing, plastering, painting, the lot. Well, can you tell me if any princesses live here? Just the one. What's your name? Penelope Plummer. Pleased to meet you. I'm Debbie. Oh, sorry, do come in. Thank you. You've come at just the right moment. Have I? If you could hold that there for me. Oh, that's perfect. I was wondering if you... I wonder if I'll find any silver numbers here. That pesky child. I'd better make sure that I find the silver numbers before she does. Now who's that idiot? Get out of the picture! Go on, clear off! Oh, what's the matter with this thing? Wait a minute, though. Closer. <gasps> two silver number twos. And I found them before Smarty Pants. <laughs> I better go and get them. <laughs> oh, come on. Hurry up and dry, can't you? Oh, I hate it here. And I bet they've eaten all the ice cream and jelly, too. It's not fair. It's not, it's not, it's not. Hello there, young man. Oh, you scared me half to death. You shouldn't creep up on people like that, you know. Oh, do stop that snivelling. How dare you speak to me like that? I'm Prince Pimple, you know. Pimple? Yes, I come from a very long line of pimples. Kindly show me a little respect. My humble apologies, your weediness. That's better. Now, what do you want? Oh, look at my feet. Mm. I'm so poor, I can't even afford a pair of shoes. So you want money? Well, I've got loads of money. No, no, I'm not after money. No? But I couldn't help noticing... Uh... You're not having my shoes. Not with my feet, the state they're in. Then what about these? And you certainly can't have those. Why not? These are special shoes. Special? Whosoever's feet fit these shoes will surely be the princess of my dreams. Oh, fiddlesticks, don't be so wet. Just hand them over. No, I won't. Won't, won't, won't. I'm warning you. I'll only give these shoes to the princess whose feet they fit. Now be off with you, you old hag. Old hag? I'll old hag you. Hang on to those a second, will you? <sighs> well, thank you. Now, look, I've no time to waste an idle conversation with you. Kindly step aside. Wouldn't do to keep the girl of my dreams waiting, would it? Ha! I don't believe this. I met a prince in the forest today. Oh, really? Prince Pimple. Do you know him? Pimple? <laughs> no, I think I'd remember someone with a name like that. Sounds pretty soppy to me. I bet he doesn't know one end of the hammer from the other. He wants to marry the princess of his dreams. Oh, how pathetic. They're all the same, these princes. What? Wouldn't you like to marry a handsome prince? Ugh. I'm quite happy as I am, thank you very much. What about the princess? Couldn't you at least ask her? Poor Prince Pimple will never find his way to this place on his own. I'd better go and fetch him. Little Tiwi, that should keep the bugs at bay and creepy crawlies well away. T-shirt? Do shut up. I'm trying to listen here. So, she's off to fetch the prince, is she? Well, who is? Nobody you know. And the prince will bring with him the shoes with the twos. The shoes with the twos? Quite so, T-shirt. There's only one thing for it. What's that? I must make the prince believe that I am the princess of his dreams. Princess Teabag! Ha, <laughs> ha! Good idea. If you want to avoid a clip round the ear, boy, you'd better listen carefully to this. Your job is to get rid of that silly girl, whoever she is. That way, I can entertain the prince in private. 
How will I do that? Use your imagination. No, cancel that. I'll tell you exactly how you're going to do it. Hello? Hello? Oh, no. He's gone. Well, you're a bit short to be a prince. I'm not the prince, but, um, he sent me to collect you, um, to come with me in his coach. Yes. He's got burst pipes everywhere. You must come quick. There's water pouring in through the ceiling. Oh, dear. And pouring down the walls, too. Oh, hurry, bring your toolbox. Quick. Well, this sounds like an emergency. It is. Hurry. Excellent. Nobody about. What a good boy T-shirt is sometimes. Now then, to hatch my brilliant plan. How oh, simply divine. Oh, my prince has come. Just coming. Oh, my poor feet. I can't go another step. Oh, hello. Goodbye. Where are you going, you silly boy? You look positively worn up. Well, no wonder I've been walking miles and miles and miles. Oh, you poor thing. What a shame. Imagine coming all this way just so that little old me can try on these beautiful silver shoes. Not yet, not yet. Can't you see the state I'm in? I must sit down. Then sit down. Ah, uh, and I must soak my aching feet. Then soak them. <sighs> now. About these shoes. Oh, and I must have something to eat. I'm famished. Take on some crumpets. Oh, yes, that'd do nicely. No, no, I, I changed my mind. I'd like some ice cream and jelly. I must have a bowl of ice cream and jelly. Ah! I'm not here to wait on you hand and foot. I want to try on those shoes. And I want my ice cream and jelly. And I want to try on those shoes. And I want you to try on those shoes. That's more like it. Hello, it. Tea bag. Deborah. I say princess. That's what? no princess. That's tea bag. Curse you, child. You I'll... don't scare me, tea bag. You can't harm me. I'm going to find all those silver numbers. Then your time will be up. You won't get a single one of them. That's where you're wrong. See, I've got the one already. Yeah! And I'll get the rest. You won't. Quiet, quiet, quiet. Now, if you aren't the princess, and you aren't the princess, who is the princess? Oh, having a party? Oh, what fun. Uh-oh. I don't believe this. T-shirt. T-shirt? Who are you? Hey. Who's she? Never mind. I thought I told you to take her for a very long ride. I did. We went through the creepy forest, up the winding mountain trail, across the muddy river valley and through the swamp. And then the wheel fell off the coach. <laughs> That's right, the wheel fell off and I fell in the swamp. <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> A terrible swamp, muddy and smelly. Oh, yes, I know that swamp. Sticky and horrible. That's the one, yeah. It was lucky I had these along to fix the wheel back on. Shut up! No. Let's get rid of that. That's better. You... Put on the shoes. Oh, yes. I must put on the shoes. Two silver twos. Quite so, Miss Horrible. And any minute now, they will be mine. You put them on. Oh, let me do that. What? I don't mind, because I know they won't fit you. All right, just put them on. If these shoes fit, you'll shortly see the family legend pure and simple. You'll be the one who'll marry me and end up with a pimple. Oh, belt up. Oh, no. What's the matter? They fit. They fit? They fit? They fit? They fit. The shoes fit. They're mine, do you hear? The shoes are mine. I got the shoes with the silver number two, so hard luck to use and a scooby dooby doos You mean to say you're the girl of my dreams? Eh? Hey? You're the one I'm going to marry and live happily ever after with? 
You must be joking. I've got what I'm after. I'm off. T-shirt, come along. I say, this is all very odd. Very odd. I mean, how could the shoes possibly have fitted her? I mean, she's no princess. Ta-da! I say, what have you done? I swapped the shoes around. Gave her yours. That was jolly clever. I say, that was jolly clever, wasn't it? I say, I... I don't suppose you'd like to try them on, would you? Oh, no. I'm no princess. Pity. Yes. Will I ever find anyone who fits the shoes? Oh, no. Don't look at me. Well, go and fetch a princess. I can't. Why not? Oh, give them to me. Because I am the princess. Oh, for Pete's sake, yuck. The princess of my dreams. We'll be married right away and live happily ever after in a fairy tale castle in clouds. I haven't time for all that. But I... There's far too much work to be done around here. Gutters to clear, hedges to trim, walls to plaster. Uh, yes, but I was... And I simply uh... must attend to that sink. I don't know what's wrong with it. Well, I can tell you from here what's wrong with it. You've tried to put your U-bend on back to front. I have? <laughs> well, obviously. Well, how do you know that? I read about it. I've read every book in the palace library. I'm an absolute mine of useless information. Not so useless, Pimply. No. I get the idea that you and I could make a fantastic team, Pimply. Do you? Your know-how, my elbow grease, the world's our oyster. I see what you mean. And after we've done this, you must stay for dinner. Oh, that'd be nice. We're having ice cream and jelly. Do you like it? Do I like it? <laughs> when do I start? What do I do? Just stick with me and you won't go wrong. Wrench. Wrench. Spanner. Spanner. Excuse me. Yes. yes. These. Yes. May I take them, please? Yes, of course. Take them. Take them. Oh, thanks. Stay for dinner. Oh, no, I can't. Thank you. All the more for us. <laughs> Cheerio, then. Bye. Bye. Come on, Pimply. Too right. <laughs> it's all your fault, boy. All your fault. How is it my fault? Everything's your fault. What did I do? You can't blame me. Don't talk back, do you hear? It was that girl. She gave you the wrong shoes. Oh, don't remind me. Little clever clogs. Yeah. Who is she anyway? I'm sure I've seen her somewhere before. You have never seen her. Is that clear? I'm sure I have. I said... What was her name again? Daphne? Deirdre? T-shirt? No, I'm T-shirt. That's Debbie. That's it. Never mention that name to me again. What? Debbie? <laughs> Sorry. Not half as sorry as she'll be when I catch up with her, wherever she is. What a beautiful desert island. And not a soul to be seen. <laughs>